The bar is set high. The ambition of Ecuadorian authorities is to use this place to transform the country's economy. It's Jashai, the city of knowledge, the first planned and purpose-built town in the country's history. It's to house universities, technology entrepreneurs, to be a center for all kinds of advanced research, modeled after tech parks like Silicon Valley in the US and Shenzhen Park in China. The CEO of the public company building it says the idea is to transform Ecuador's economy from one reliant on the export of raw materials to one based on knowledge and innovation. We need to, uh, to uh, make a cluster of uh, the best minds in Ecuador and bring from abroad uh, all the best uh, people that could help uh, in the development of, of new technologies. Companies are offered incentives to come here, guarantees of stable energy sources and state-of-the-art telecom, along with generous tax rebates. Brazilian firm Atos was among the first international companies to come to Jashai, and company leaders say it's been good for business. When you reach the, our clients, our customers, and say, we are from Yachai, we have the last technology that exists, and they, that creates uh, some kind of credibility. In fact, uh, to the future, there is no way a country can live without a technological park. The creation of Jashai is part of Ecuador's plan to better prepare the country for the future. But those responsible for this project say that preserving and understanding the country's past and its traditions plays a critical role in its long-term success. As construction began, a vast wealth of ancient artifacts, some thousands of years old, were unearthed. A team of archaeologists is now working to collect, classify and study the civilizations that have been here before. To develop a society and an identity, we have to respect our past. Archaeology helps us to understand our roots and where we are coming from, and with this we can project our future and better understand where we can get to. Yachai is already up and running, but it's a work in progress that won't be fully complete for another 30 years and hopes are that its impact will forever change the face of Ecuador. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Urucuki, Ecuador.